Is there a link between statin medications and dementia? The answer is yes. Some statin medications are associated with developing dementia and something else called mild cognitive impairment. And these happen to be the most commonly prescribed statins. You might be asking, why are some people saying that statins actually lower your risk of dementia? Well, it's because that can be true too. It depends on the statin you're taking and your baseline cholesterol level. I'm going to explain it. Hi, I'm Vina. I'm a board-certified pharmacist in the U.S. with over 20 years of practice. I have family members and patients that are concerned about the link with statins and dementia, and I'm going to give you the real answers. And all the links to the studies are going to be listed below. If you have a family member, a parent, a grandparent, or someone else in your life that is taking a statin medication for cholesterol, please share this video with them. I'm going to go over exactly which statin medications are associated with an increased risk of dementia and exactly what type of person is at risk for this because it's not everyone and why our brain needs cholesterol. So first of all, why do we need cholesterol, especially in our brain? Well, cholesterol is not this bad thing that we need to get as low as possible. In fact, there is cholesterol in the cell membranes of every cell in our body. And all of our steroid hormones, like estrogen and testosterone, and even vitamin D, are all synthesized from cholesterol. Neurons in our brain send and receive signals. They can't do this without cholesterol. Neurons are wrapped in something called a myelin sheath. The myelin sheath is made of about 80% cholesterol. Cholesterol does not transport well between the blood-brain barrier. It's just too large of a molecule. In our body, our liver makes most of our cholesterol. In our brain, well, our brain makes its own cholesterol in cells called astrocytes. And the cholesterol in the brain accounts for about 20 to 25% of our total cholesterol. So the bottom line is cholesterol is vital for our body and our brain. We need a healthy amount, not too much and not too little. Now about the specific statin medications. And if you find out that the medicine you're taking is linked to an increased risk of dementia, don't just stop taking your medicine without talking to your doctor. Your doctor can easily just switch you to a different one. And I'm going to tell you which ones they can switch you to. Now, which statins are associated with an increased risk of developing dementia or mild cognitive impairment? It's a group of statins called lipophilic statins. Statins can be divided pretty much into two main groups, lipophilic, which means fat-loving, and hydrophilic, which means water-loving. A statin medication can more easily penetrate the brain for two reasons. One, the dose, meaning the higher the dose, and two, the more lipophilic it is, and that is because the brain is composed of about 60% fat. Here is a chart from a publication called Pharmacy Times. Yes, there actually is a nerdy magazine called Pharmacy Times. This shows the lipophilic statins, and the most common ones prescribed are simvastatin and atorvastatin. So rosuvastatin and pravastatin do not enter the brain as easily. And so these are the two that if you're concerned about this, ask your doctor to switch you to. And I'm gonna link this chart below. If you're getting benefit from this video, will you give my video a like? This helps me grow my channel. So now, which people are at higher risk for developing dementia or mild cognitive impairment? This part is simple. It's the people that have normal baseline cholesterol and they're taking one of the lipophilic statins. For those people, they have more than double the risk of developing dementia or mild cognitive impairment. People with high baseline cholesterol are actually not at risk for dementia by taking a statin. They can take any statin. So why are people out there saying that statins actually lower the risk of dementia? Well, the reason is because that is true too. When you look at all statin users grouped together, it shows an overall lower risk of developing dementia. 
But when you stratify the data and look just at people with normal cholesterol taking a lipophilic statin in just that group, that's where you see more than double the risk of developing dementia or mild cognitive impairment. For people with normal cholesterol and normal cognition, the study shows more than double the risk of developing mild cognitive impairment over 72 months for those taking a lipophilic statin. For people that already have mild cognitive impairment, the association with developing dementia over an eight-year period is more than double for those taking a lipophilic statin. This risk is considered an association and cause effect has not been proven. There are some theories though. One of the theories is that if your cholesterol is normal and not elevated, you may not be able to tolerate pushing cholesterol even lower in the brain. But that is just a theory. You might be wondering why someone with normal baseline cholesterol would even get prescribed a statin medication. Well, now they are prescribed statins even with normal cholesterol, depending on their medical conditions, because they lower the risk of heart attack and stroke. So now we do have people with normal baseline cholesterols taking statin medications. So the bottom line is, if you have high cholesterol, you can take any statin and not worry about this risk. If you have normal baseline cholesterol and you're taking one of those lipophilic statins, don't just stop taking your statin. You can talk to your doctor, let them know your concerns, and the doctor can switch you to resuvastatin or provastatin. If you found this content informative, please let me know by liking the video or giving me a comment.